All right, today we're talking trash. So it's been quite a bit of time since I've actually filmed. I last posted a video, I think like over a month ago, so it's been even longer since I filmed. It's just been really busy in life with lots of travel and other things going on, um, and it kind of hit like a creative slump as well. And I feel like every so often I go through this period where I'm like, should I just quit YouTube? Like, I don't know if I really need to be doing this, but then I miss it. So. Ultimately, I come back and here I am. Since it has been a while, I do have quite a lot of empties to go through and I'm gonna try to be fast about this because usually I spend way too long talking about each individual project, project, product, and the video ends up being way too long. So we're gonna be going through a handful of products today for makeup, skincare, hair care, body care, and I'm gonna give you my hope to be quick opinion on it and whether or not I would recommend it. So if you want to see my face again, you should subscribe to this channel because I am coming back despite leaving for a while um, and give this video a like. And I also have a playlist of other stash or trash videos if you want to look through and see what I recommend and what I don't. I'm just going to do it in a completely random order. To start off with something good. This is the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Body Lotion. So this is 32 ounces of lotion and I got this on clearance for $7.50. It was originally $15. This I purchased a long time ago. It lasted me a long time. It says it provides all day hydration for normal to dry skin. I really like this. I feel like I use a lot because every time I shower, I apply lotion to my entire body and this still lasted me so long because it's very emollient, it's very hydrating. I would absolutely repurchase this, probably even at the higher price. It's just a really good lotion. And I honestly think the Alba Botanica brand is very underrated because I've tried several of their things and Actually, I think I have another one of theirs in here. I've loved everything I've tried from them so far. So yes to being affordable and yes to being for your dry skin. To the next Alba product, this is another product I definitely got on clearance. It's the Hydration Sensation Water Gel. It's a broad spectrum SPF 18 with Blue Lotus Flower Water. This I absolutely loved. I don't know if the where I purchased this, they were just getting rid of that brand, if that's why they were on clearance, but I love this. I was not expecting to because it's called a water gel and I typically don't like gel moisturizers, but it still had like the consistency and the look of like a normal lotion moisturizer. I loved it and it didn't cause any irritation. I love, love, love when a moisturizer that I use in the morning has SPF in it already. I wear sunscreen on top of that, but I love having just like double the protection and also like sometimes I will let my moisturizer soak in and then go do a couple things like whatever work or whatnot and sometimes an hour or so may pass before I remember to put on my other scun, scun, sunscreen so it's nice to have at least some protection if I do happen to forget it because I'm not going to forget moisturizer. I would repurchase this. I'm pretty sure I got it on clearance for like $2.50. Okay this might actually be a discontinued product. I'm not sure. In the pictures it looks like the packaging has changed but it's out of stock so I'm I hope that they didn't get rid of this I can find it in like a jar form but I'll try to link that down below and I personally really prefer a pump in general I hate having to dig my finger into a jar and possibly introduce germs so if you can find this highly recommend speaking of SPF we have the Australian gold botanical tinted face and this is SPF 50 and I have obviously the fair to light skin tones I liked this but it is one, it is thick. Two, it is a little bit too dark for me if I'm not gonna be putting on makeup. So it says for fair to light skin, I'm pretty fair. It's not quite as light as I am, so you can tell a difference. So if I wear this without foundation, sometimes I'll put like powder on or I'll just wear this like when I'm not gonna be out and be seen because you can tell the difference. That being said, I do like it. It's cruelty free. It's a quite affordable. I got it at the drugstore. I like that it's SPF 50, so it's a high one. And if you're looking for a tinted SPF, I think this is definitely a good option. I'll just be aware a little bit if you are very fair skin like me, because it will be a little bit dark. Okay, this I did a whole video on Dollar Tree skincare. I made a whole skincare routine using products I just got from Dollar Tree. This is the Bolero Facial Gel Cleanser. My opinion of this is basically, I think the same that I gave in that video. It's 
that it's not bad for like a very basic cleanser. It's not great at removing makeup, so I definitely could not use it for that. I ended up just putting it in the shower as like my shower. Um, I can't think of the word. It's been so long, I can't remember the word. Cleanser? This would definitely not be one you could use alone. Honestly, I feel like I would only recommend this if you are really strapped for cash. I mean, it's $1.25 and you get 2.5 ounces, so it is a great deal, but it's nothing that I would go back and purchase. I feel like I kind of had to use a lot, and it's one that like didn't foam up a lot. I know that that like that's not essential, but that's something I prefer in a cleanser is for, to get like foamy. Um, and then the makeup issue, so if you really need a budget one, I'd say, yeah, give this a try. But overall, I would spend a few more dollars to get something a little bit better at the drugstore. Okay, now we have the Boots Vitamin C Serum. This is a very affordable vitamin C, which I love that about that, and I've heard good things about the Boots brand. However, I don't know that I noticed any difference in my skin when using this. That being said, I may not have used it for long enough. I had it for a couple of months, I think it lasted me. This is one fluid ounce. And I personally didn't notice any kind of brightening or smoothing like it says. It's something I don't necessarily recommend, but I don't recommend against. You might just have to use it for longer to see the effects. And it is under $10, so if you're struggling to find a more affordable vitamin C serum, I'd say this is worth a try. Now this next product, I cut up the bottle because I wanted to get every last bit of it out, but this is the Matcha Hydrating Foam Cleanser. If you couldn't tell, I love this. I have repurchased this. I use it every night to remove my makeup. It's in my bathroom right now. I love this. It is under $20. It is K-Beauty. It's gentle on my skin, but it's also really good at removing makeup. So this would be my step one and I will use this to like get most of my makeup off and then every night I, if I'm wearing makeup I do a double cleanse so I will go in with a more gentle cleanse cleanser after that to just get anything else remaining. It's a bit of a thicker consistency which I like for removing makeup. It's cruelty free, it's made from 100% recycled plastic. The only downside I would say is that you have to get it from like Yes Style or Style Vana because it is a Korean brand, but I love it. And Korean skincare is, I've been, I've been latching on lately. Definitely recommend and you will be seeing it again in a future empties. Next, we have the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. This was just a little sample I got. I used this up when my other niacinamide ran out and I honestly, I think it's too small to really notice a huge difference, but in general, I really do like niacinamide. I feel like it calms down my skin a lot. I'm not sure because it was only a sample size, but I would like to try it again because I typically go for the ordinary niacinamide, but if this one's cheaper or if I just wanna like try out something new, I think it'd be a good buy. And I think they're pretty affordable. I think it's under $10. Speaking of niacinamide, I also have the Ordinary Niacinamide. Now, I also really like this one. I've repurchased it a couple of times. It's a great deal. I believe it's under $10 and it is one fluid ounce. I really like the Ordinary's products in general, but I also really like their niacinamide. Same with the other one. I feel like it really calms down my skin, especially like when I've been picking at my skin. It helps just like reduce that redness and reduce that inflammation a little bit. So. I would repurchase this. I'm not sure if I'm going to because right now I'm trying to like strip down my skincare because I've just been <sighs> breaking out, but I like it and I would recommend. I really thought I charged the battery, but it just died. So I had to charge it for a little bit and we're good now, hopefully. Next product is also one that is cut up and I don't have a ton of the bottle left, but this is the X Mondo Prismatic Glow Hydrating Mask. This is what I have. I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see. This is something that I have purchased a couple of different times and I do really like it and I feel like it really helped my hair when it was super, super damaged. Like in the beginning of the shutdown, the pandemic started, my hair was in such bad shape and this along with stopping using heat on my hair for a little while really brought my hair back to life because it was really really bad where like my hair was so dry and damaged that when I tried to straighten it it would get caught in the straightener so I really like this I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it because it is a little bit pricier I think it's around 28 to 30 dollars 
and I typically do have to pay shipping unless I buy another product. So it is on the pricier end than I typically like to spend for hair care. I do really like it. So if my hair is in a really damaged state, I would repurchase it and I would recommend it. But I'm trying to find a mask that is a little bit cheaper that I can purchase and possibly even one I could get in store at like Ulta or Sephora. So I like it and I have liked a lot of the products that I have tried from Ex Mondo. So if your hair is really, really damaged, yes, I think you should try it, but I'm gonna take a little break. Next, we have the Jason Vitamin E Moisturizing Cream. I've gone through a couple bottles of this. I really, really like this. It's super hydrating. I use it at night. The vitamin E, my skin just loves it. It soaks it up. It's not irritating. It's pretty affordable. I'm pretty sure it's under $15. You can get it at like Walmart, probably Amazon, like Vitacost, iHerb, things like that. And this jar lasts me a long time because you only need like a dime size amount or less, I would say, because it's, it's more of like a thicker consistency, but it seems to go a long way. And I love this stuff. I'm using something else right now, but when I use up the stuff I have now, I think I'm gonna repurchase this because this is definitely one of my like holy grail products, I think. And it has 25,000 IUs of vitamin E, if that means anything to you. Next is the Grand Active Retinoid 5% in Squalane by The Ordinary. I have tried multiple of the retinols from The Ordinary. I guess this one's considered a retinoid and I've liked all of them. I don't know if I can completely tell a difference in my skin between using them, between like the 1% in Squalane, Grand Active Retinoid, the Emulsion Grand Active Retinoid or Retinol, whatever. Like there's a lot of varieties that they have and also that I've tried and I like all of them, but I haven't noticed like an extreme difference. Like, oh, this one is 5% as opposed to the 1%. I'm seeing a remarkable difference. That being said, they are extremely affordable retinols. So if you are new to retinol or you just need something more affordable, I would highly recommend any of the retinols that they have. Honestly, I think it is the most affordable retinol that I have been able to find. I am taking a break from retinol right now because I was, well, that's another story. But I say I would recommend this. Next, we have the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. I've had a couple bottles of this. This is tried and true. I really love it. I actually took a break from it for a little while because I was like, oh, it's too expensive. And I am noticing a difference in my skin, honestly. Lots of distractions today. A roofing guy just came to my door because a tornado slash hailstorm came through my city. Full eyelashes, lipstick, answering the door, talking about the home's construction. It just felt very weird. So yes, I love this. I repurchased it and I'm going to keep using it even though it is more expensive. I feel like that happens to me with everything that is a little bit more expensive. I use it a couple of times, like a couple bottles, and then I'm like, you know what? I think I'm fine without it. Like, it's great, it did its job, but maybe I can cut it out and then I end up going back to it because I'm like, oh, that was actually doing wonders for my hair and my skin. So I might feel the same way about the Prismatic Hair Glow, but I don't like spending money, obviously. All right, next we have the Bellflower Avocado Moisture Sunscreen. This is SPF 50 and it is Korean skincare. I did really like this. It is a bit of a thinner formula, which I wasn't as excited about, but it is really good as an SPF. It was under 20, possibly under $15. I got this along with another one that I'm still using. And the other one I preferred over this, but it is still a very good SPF. It does not leave a white cast on my skin. It absorbs in pretty well. I honestly have no complaints with it. It's purely based on the consistency for me. Okay, now we have something that's been in my collection a little too long. It's technically not used up, it's dried up. This is the Smashbox, always Smashbox, Smashbox, always on liquid lipstick in Babe Alert. So I got this in an Ipsy bag a long time ago. I haven't had Ipsy in years and I think I like this. I liked the color. I liked the consistency. It was not super long lasting. It is a liquid lipstick and I expect those to kind of last a decent amount of time. It did come off with like eating or drinking and whatnot. Honestly, when it comes to lipstick, I wear it so infrequently that one, they dry up before I can use them, 
but two, I wouldn't really purchase an expensive one because I don't use it enough. And I just honestly, I think the drugstore has plenty that you don't need to spend 20, 30 more dollars on it. So I wouldn't repurchase, but it's not bad. Next is the Paula's Choice 1% Retinol Treatment. This is the five milliliters. This is their travel size. When I purchased it online, I was not paying attention. This was like $13. For this tiny one i thought i was getting a bigger bottle to get like the full size is like 40 to 50 dollars so i don't know how i missed that that's more expensive than i want to spend for a retinol especially when i've had success with the ordinary ones i love the other paula's choice products that i've tried but personally the one percent retinol i mean it's only one percent I don't I think you should go with something cheaper I wouldn't purchase this specific product and that's just me there's just a lot of the options that are a lot cheaper we have the Pureology hydrate shampoo I went through the conditioner because I got them in a little set and I like the shampoo more than I liked the conditioner but everyone raves about this product Pureology and it's like $35 for a full-size bottle so I was like okay I'll try out the travel size first to see if it's something if it's actually as good as everyone says and it's like it's fine my hair needed more moisture it was good but it wasn't amazing not to spend 35 dollars when i can get similar results with something that's like 10 or 15 dollars at the drugstore i do have very dry very damaged very frizzy hair so there's that so if you don't have hair like that it might be quite enough hydration for you but my hair soaks up hydration so quickly because it needs it all so not quite enough and i was just using so much of it that it'd be just expensive we have a perfume this is the dolly parton perfume it's like great smoky mountains and i'm just a sucker for anything relating to the national parks and i also love dolly parton so i bought it it is really nice it's a great fragrance i enjoy it it's not the one i've been like on the search for some perfumes that are like tried and true, absolute ones I love and can wear every single day. And while I like this and it's good, it's just like not quite perfect. I love the National Park theme and I love that it came in a sample size so I didn't have to buy the full bottle. Next, we have two eyebrow pencils and that is the rest of this video. I have the Profusion Good Brow Day Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in Soft Brown. I really liked Profusion for their brow products. I still have a liquid brow product that I've been using and it just lasts forever. I did really like this. I think it was a little too light for me. It seemed darker in the thing, but once it went on, it looked a lot lighter. It is shade soft brown. This is really affordable. I like the Profusion brand. I'm pretty sure I got this for less than $7. And I don't get over to Walmart very often, but if I am there, I would definitely repurchase this because it was a good level of like waxy but not too smooth so it didn't wipe away too easily and I really liked it. Out of the ones I had at the moment this was my go-to. I also have the Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil in shade Soft Brown as well. This one is very affordable and I like Wet n Wild as a brand but this is one that is a little too soft to where it's not waxy enough to where it gets wiped away super easily. Like if I do my eyebrows and then don't put some kind of like gel or something over it if i'm like doing my makeup and just like i don't know wipe my eyebrow a little bit it'd like come off it just would come off way too easily which personally i just want something that is more long lasting and more just like holding onto the hairs into my skin not everyone likes that but i like something that is like it's on there it's not as malleable i guess as this is it's like not bad so in a pinch i would repurchase it because it is so cheap but I would definitely go for something else over it. I'm sorry, I forgot one more thing. <laughs> this is the AOA Skin Invisible Acne Patch. Now this was like a dollar, maybe two dollars that I got on Shop Miss A. And it comes with 15 patches. These did nothing for my skin. <laughs> the idea is that they're supposed to like help absorb like the oil and the bacteria or whatever that's like if you have like an active pimple going on. Whenever I would put these on, it didn't do anything. I would wear them overnight and the next day it would look exactly the same. And you know, if you've ever tried like pimple patches before, you can tell like when it's absorbed something because it looks, you can see like the white in the hydrocolloid patch part. I never got that with this. The only thing I will say is I use these 
to prevent myself from picking at my skin. Now, pimple patches are not cheap, so this is a great deal to get 15 for, what, one to two dollars. So how I would use them is if I had like something active on my face that I really wanted to pick at because I'm a I'm a bad skin picker, especially lately. I would put one of these on there so it would prevent me from one, kind of seeing the pimple, but also two, scratching at it because I just instinctively want to do that. So if you similarly have that issue, I think this would be a great option. I just don't think it's actually doing anything for the acne underneath. I feel like this is, video is gonna be super, super long. So if you're still watching this, thank you. And I am surprised. That should be everything. Should take me some time to have another empties video. I will link everything I can in the description box below if you wanna check that out. Once again, you should subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Thank you.